Hello everyone. Today our discussion topic is broadband and baseband transmission. So what are the different topics today we are going to cover are the first is definition of baseband transmission after that its characteristics then advantages and disadvantages of baseband transmission and similar for the broadband also that is definition of broadband transmission characteristics of broadband transmission then its advantages and disadvantages so without wasting our time let's move to the first slide that is baseband transmission the first point is each signal will use the entire bandwidth of channel to send the data it means that the entire bandwidth it will be used by one signal at a time first signal 1 it will use the entire bandwidth after that when the signal 1 is passed on the second signal that is signal 2 it will come across the channel and it will use the entire bandwidth after the turn off signal 2 the signal 3 will come and the similar process will occur so this is the basic working of the baseband transmission this we can understand through this diagram also in the slide that how it is working so here digital signals are basically used so this is the baseband transmission the different characteristics of baseband transmission are it can be used for short distances then fourth is it uses bidirectional transmission of data the fifth point is frequency division multiplexing is not possible over here the reason is entire bandwidth is used by signal only one signal can use the entire bandwidth at a time it means that we can do frequency division multiplexing in case of multiple signals if we are having multiple signals the frequency division is possible but here the entire bandwidth is used by one signal at a time so this is not possible in this case so next sixth point is it works mostly with linear bus topology this we can understand in the diagram also that it uses the linear process linear bus topology can be used for this then next point is it uses manchester or differential encoding scheme this manchester and differential encoding scheme you can refer to our other video which is based on this encoding scheme then eighth point is it offers bandwidth of 1 to 5 mbps with 20 to 30 channels it means that we can simply multiply 5 into 30 and we can get the entire the total bandwidth how much possible is in baseband transmission so next we are having some of the advantages and disadvantages of this baseband transmission first advantage is simple structure as we are using linear process linear structure obviously it will be a very simple structure to operate on then second point is low cost installation it means that if the structure is very simple then the monetary cost that will occur on this structure installation it will be obviously low then the third point is ease of installation so it is very easy to install this kind of structure then fourth point is maintenance is easy so due to the linear structure the maintenance is also easy so these are the some of the advantages of a baseband then we are having some disadvantages too what are the disadvantages are limited distance so it can be used for the very short coverage and the limited range then it can be used only for the data and voice so if we want to use the videos and other things that is not basically possible in the baseband transmission or it is not perfectly suitable for those things so these are some of the disadvantages under this so our next slide is broadband transmission under broadband transmission many signals will work simultaneously we can see in the diagram also 
there are three signals signal 1 2 and 3 that are working on the bandwidth at a time simultaneously so our first point is many signals with various frequencies can be transmitted simultaneously then second point is analog signals are used in broadband transmission of data this is very important point under the broadband transmission that it basically work on analog signals so the other different characteristics of broadband are it can be used for long distance trans long distance transmission as we discussed in the basement that it was for the short distance but the broadband can be used for the long distance transmission this is a very important difference between the both the next point is it uses unidirectional transmission the fifth is frequency division multiplexing is possible because we are working on the various frequencies various signals at a time so the next point is it can use it can be used with both tree and bus topology then seventh is it works upon the phase shift keying and coding scheme then eighth is it offers maximum bandwidth of 1 to 100 mbps then again we are having some advantages and disadvantages of this transmission also so first advantage is data voice and video all can be supported here and second is it offers greater bandwidth and greater efficiency so what are the disadvantages of broadband transmission are cabling is complex because the structure is complex then obviously the maintenance the cost the monetary requirement everything will be complex and high in this case of a broadband transmission so this was all about the baseband and broadband transmission these are very simple nodes so next we are having some mcqs the first question is unidirectional transmission of data is possible in which transmission the options are PSK transmission, broadband transmission, baseband transmission, cabling transmission. So the answer is broadband transmission. The second question is if a local ethernet network has to be created then which of the following transmission can be best suited for this. It means for local ethernet network what we will use, which kind of transmission we will use. The options are broadband, baseband direction then fourth is workstation transmission so what is the correct answer for this question the option number two that is baseband transmission basement transmission is used in local ethernet network so what we learned about the different topics in this video are baseband transmission then the characteristics, advantages and disadvantages of basement transmission and similarly for the broadband, the characteristics of broadband transmission, the different advantages and disadvantages in the broadband transmission. Thank you so much.